guys, it's Alicia Savings, and I'm back with another video, and I have some really, really exciting news for you guys. I told you guys two videos ago that Dollar General is going to be having a huge clearance event starting on October 11th through October 13th, and I told you guys in that video that all of the yellow dot clothes were currently at 50% off, and they would be an additional 50% off during the clearance event. Well, yesterday... Dollar General Stores received a memo that effective Saturday, October the 5th, all of the yellow dot and white dot clothes, shoes, and accessories were to be marked down to 70% off. And this markdown does not have an end date for it. So we can only assume that these are going to stay at 70% off all the way through the clearance event weekend. Now, the stores did receive an updated memo in regards to the clearance event, but there were no new details for me to give to you guys other than this right here, which this detail was not included on that memo. This was a separate memo for the yellow dot and white dot clothes, shoes, and accessories to be marked down to 70% off. So I've got an example here for you guys. If you pick up a clothing item that has a yellow dot or a white dot on it, and it was regular $10, so that's what it'll read on the tag, It'll now be $3 at 70% off, but during the clearance event weekend, October 11th through October 13th, you'll be able to get that yellow dot or white dot apparel, shoe, or accessory item for $1.50. All right, so if you guys didn't see that clearance event video, I'm going to talk over really quick all of the categories of items that are going to be included in this 50% off clearance event. We're going to have the POG clearance, which is anything throughout your stores that have the orange clearance stickers on them. Everything in the clearance section of your store, so anything that has been previously discontinued and is now in your clearance section or last chance section of your Dollar General stores will be included in this clearance event. You do need to go in and scope out your stores and see if there are any digital coupons or paper coupon available for any of the items that are in the clearance section that you can use on these items. I know a lot of stores try to argue that you can't use coupons on the clearance items, but that is a lie. You can use those coupons on those clearance items. So if you have any coupons available, please go on and be sure to have those ready for this clearance event. The next... Um, Section we're going to have included is the back to school stationary items. We're going to have backpacks included, beach towels, the green and red dot home decor items. And remember that those green dot items are currently marked down to 40% off. Then we're also going to have the July 4th seasonal items included. And those items are currently at 70% off. All of the seeds are going to be included. Select lawn and garden items are going to be included. Um, and that will exclude the fans, grills, charcoal, lighter fluid, propane, quad chairs, and items like that. They will have a list up in the stores with all of the items that it does exclude. So that you guys won't get confused when you're going into your stores trying to purchase those items. And then we're also going to have the summer and patriotic party items included. Some sun care items. The swim and summer toys. And the yellow and white dot apparel shoes and accessories are going to be included, as I told you guys. And those are currently going down to 70% off, so those will be an additional 50% off of their current reduced 70% off price. So you'll be able to get items for $1.50 or less. Um, I don't know how much the, 10, the $15 items would be, but it's just going to be a little bit more than what the $1.50 is right there during the clearance event. This will be a really great opportunity to stock up on any of these clothing items that you can store away for next year because most of them are, you know, summer and spring type clothes. You may find some shirts that have long sleeves on them, but most of them are going to be for summer style clothing. And you can, of course, go in and store those away until next year for your kids like I plan to do myself. All right, and now for the penny list for the week, Tuesday, October the 8th. Penny list here, we've only got three new items on the penny list. These are all candy items. These may possibly be some really great items for you to go in and find. These two right here in particular, I know you guys may possibly have already seen these in your stores. I didn't find any of these left in any of the stores near me that I went in looking for today. Um, but we've got our three little items on here. The first item we've got here is the M&M's hazelnut stand-up pouch, 8.3 ounce bags, and the last four digits of that UPC code are 1349. And then we're also going to have the Elmer chocolate box 
thank you 3.2 ounce and I know you guys are probably wondering what in the heck is that I do have pictures of all three of these items and I also found these two items right here in store and I did record a little video clip of what these look like what the box looks like that they're in and the UPC codes on the back of each one of those boxes so please be sure to check out that um, video clip that I'm going to include and I will of course include the picture with all three of the items and the UPC codes on it for you guys to look at but it's a 3.2 ounce box it's a box of chocolates and the last four digits of the UPC code on the thank you is 2893 and then there's also a Elmer chocolate box hooray 3.2 ounce 2923 is the UPC code on that both of these were located in the same exact box in my Dollar General stores and they will be the same way for your stores. If you happen to have seen these or have seen these in your stores, you can go in and scope it out. I actually remembered that when I was recording my clearance event footage the other day that these were sitting in the camera footage of the clearance section of the stuff that I recorded so I knew exactly where to go and look for these and I did go in and like I said record that little clip for you guys so you know exactly what to look for when you go into your stores I will include this list in the description box for any of you guys that um, are unable to get it off of my Facebook page or anything like that all right, and as always, I have to remind you guys in every video of the number one rule in penny shopping, of course, is never go into your Dollar General stores and ask your Dollar General employees where their penny items are at or if they have any penny items. Don't go in asking for any particular item that you know is a penny. Um, in some situations, it may not hurt. Like if you go in asking for where a coloring book is and you know that coloring book was one of the items on the list, but don't go in asking for that particular coloring book, then it will be okay in that situation. But don't go into your stores ever asking your Dollar General employees where their penny items are at or if they have any penny items or let them know that you're in their penny shopping in particular because Dollar General employees just don't like penny shoppers. And whenever they see you coming, they're going to assume that you're going to look for penny items and they're going to go to the back and try to search for the penny items and find them before you do. So just go into your stores, casually browse around and look for these items. And of course, if you have that Dollar General app, you can use that to price check any of the items if you happen to walk back and find these items and you're unsure or you're nervous about going out, going up to the register and checking out with these items because you're unsure if it's going to actually ring up a penny. Pull out your phone, check that item with your Dollar General app, price check tool, and you'll be sure that that item is going to be ringing up a penny when you take it up to the register. All right, so that's all that I have for you guys today. We've got our three new penny items. Remember that these items will not start ringing up a penny until Tuesday, October the 8th. They will remain a penny anytime after Tuesday, October the 8th. If you happen to run across them on the 10th, the 12th, next month, two months from now, they will remain a penny unless those UPC codes get reset, which I doubt that these items right here will get reset in any of the stores. So that's all I have for you guys today. Our three penny items there and that update on those yellow and white dot clothes going down to 70% off. And let's get ready for this freaking clearance event, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.